up people it is me Taya back again with video number two um if i'm being honest with you i didn't have high expectations with this whole youtube thing um the first video i was like you know what i'm gonna see how it goes if this goes terrible and it crashes and burns we are not touching youtube ever again but i actually really enjoyed making the content um i had a good time doing it so i figured you know what let's dive into video number two and that's where we are today um please excuse the bed we will get to that um that's a disaster at the moment but we will get to that um but yeah just in case you are wondering what today's video is about um it's just more or less about where i am at the moment in terms of fitness um so i explained in the previous video that uh i did like an eight week cut um i was happy with the results but um i would have wanted more muscle mass so over the next six five to six months the goal is to try and gain as much muscle mass as possible so we are in somewhat of a bulk. So today I'm going to explain to you my diet, more or less what I'm eating and consuming in a day. Uh, we've got a push workout plan later with one of my friends at the gym. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, and here we are. We'll take you through the rest of the day. Uh, we might be doing some cardio in C point the evening. Uh, so that'll be quite fun. Um, but yeah, the, the point of today's video is just to show you what I eat, um, show you the plan uh, and show you how I'm going about it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the morning oats montage. I'll explain all my macros and what I'm trying to consume throughout the day a little bit late in the video. But yeah, sit back, relax, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you a bit later. Boom, I'm back. Um, so what's happening now is I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I figured let me take this opportunity to explain a little bit more about my diet. Um, so basically my macro breakdown is more or less uh, 240 grams of protein. 300 to 350 grams of carbs and i'm still trying to keep my fats nice and low so it's kind of supposed to be under 90 grams of fat now that all the, those <laughs> they've changed some of the words so they've taken the english language but they've looked at some of it and they thought no no i think we need a little bit more explanation here now those are the goals however i'm not at that point where i'm really 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 strict about it um I've just gone out of a cut like I've explained previously. So at the moment, I'm still trying to enjoy myself with food and go and like not put too much pressure on myself in terms of my diet. Um, but yeah, with this morning's oats, at the moment, it's two servings of oats. So I'm having one full cup of oats, uh, a, a tablespoon of peanut butter, two servings of whey protein, and a whole banana. Um, I'm using an app called LifeSum to track my calories and my macros. So this morning, I took a little bit of a screen recording just to show you guys how it works. I'll put it up over here. Um, yeah, you'll see that I adjusted the amount of oats that I'm consuming. Um, but yeah, that's just my morning breakfast. It's going to be like that for the next couple of months. Um, the good thing is that I really, really like oats. So that's not hard to digest every single day. Um, so yeah, that's just my morning breakfast. But we're going to head to the gym now. So I'll see you guys when we get there. How's it guys? We're at the gym now. Um, I met with my boy Luke. All right, what's up? What's up? His socials will be down at the bottom. I'll drop his Instagram um, tag at the bottom. Uh, we're gonna hit the gym now. Yeah. We're doing a push workout. So yeah. he's a sax boy as well. So <laughs> both my brother and I are Ronda Watch boys. Um, and he's a sax spice. boy. Yeah. So we're adding a little bit of spice. There's gonna be a bit of a competition of the weight. We'll see how sax can hold up. Um, but yeah, we'll catch you guys in the gym. Cheers. In the gym guys we're gonna start with a dumbbell incline so i like to start with the compound get the compound out the way and then you do all the isolation work so yeah we're gonna start with dumbbell incline i really want to get my form right this year so it's gonna be lower weight but strict strict core um so yeah we'll start with this and then uh, see how it goes from there
<laughs> okay, just to let you know, we've already gone Luke to a PR. He did 27.5 on the incline. That is sick, alright? So I'm, I'm claiming that. I'm sorry, I'm claiming that. <laughs> That's incline dumbbell pressing done. We're now moving on to some isolation work. So I like to go hit the different angles. So like we just did now incline dumbbell press with the top chest, or uh, top half of our chest. We're gonna go now into a little bit low chest work. So some isolation, not too heavy, but good squeezes. Um, so that's gonna be the focus of here. Touch the ground. Yeah, you can touch the ground. You can touch the ground. Yeah, you short dude. Um, especially since I started a planet pushing. Yeah. Like when my mates came down, I was doing holidays for Marty's. Yeah. They would train together and then it helps with the people yeah. watching your form and helping you, especially with that last strip, to maintain your form while you can swim. You can't see up. when you're training. Like the yeah. thing is, when you start training, you think you're doing things a certain way and unless someone's videoing you and you're training alone, you can't see what you're doing. Yeah. So like, it's important to have someone to tell you, listen bro, that's ugly, you're gonna get hurt. Like if you keep doing that form, you're gonna hurt your shoulder, you're gonna hurt your shoulder, you're gonna hurt your shoulder. Uh,
god look at this people yes my people um so i just absolutely devoured that pizza i also cleaned my bed well kind of um yeah so just letting you know more about my dad like i love pizza and when i was cutting it was like how do i find a way to still have pizza in my diet and if you look at a normal pizza you're looking at like 1600 1700 even 2000 calories for the whole pizza and obviously when you're cutting you can't afford those calories so i had to find a way or a recipe where i could make a pizza as calorie friendly as possible so what you just saw i made now was my calorie friendly pizza basically the base of the pizza is just a brown tortilla wrap um, and then you use calorie friendly sauces, so sugar free sauces and those sort of things. Um, but in terms of the macros of the food I just had now, I will put it up over here in life sum. Um, as you can see, it's pretty low calorie, um, high protein. I use quite a lot of chicken. The nice thing about making your own pizza is you can control how much chicken and how much like ingredients you put on. Uh, I use low fat cottage cheese. I uh, also use medium fat mozzarella cheese. Um, as I am trying to transition into a bulk and put in more calories into my food, um, I figured, you know what, I'll have a pizza like that now and then maybe have another meal in like an hour or so. So yeah, um, that's pretty much the breakdown of what I had. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Oh my God. Yes, guys, this is meal number three. Um, I've incorporated protein pancakes into my daily diet now just purely because I love a sweet something. I've got such a sweet tooth, so I figured, you know what, I might as well knock it out with a meal as well. So yeah, I've showed you how to, or I've put the description of how to make these protein pancakes in my previous video in the description box. Um, but if you do want to know more, I'll throw the same recipe down in this description box. But yeah, I'm going to smash out meal number three now and I'll catch up with you guys later. Hello. Hello! You're on video! Hello! I'm so high, I'm good. How's it guys? Okay, we are in Seapoint. Uh, we are at my friend Cynthia and Chris's apartment. I did mention to you earlier that we're going to do some cardio in Seapoint. So I figured why not do a cheeky little 5k on the beautiful Seapoint promenade. So have a look there. That just doesn't get much better than that. So yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of a cheeky 5K run. Cynthia's working on her running. So last time, I think she ran a 29.19. Today's goal is probably gonna be a 29 flat. Um, we're gonna see if we can get her there and I'll let you know how it goes a little bit later. Cheers. All right, guys, we absolutely smashed that 5K. So I'm just claiming that I think I'm the best coach in the world. Um, <laughs> Cynthia, okay, last week ran a 29.19, okay? And that was really, really good. Um, we spoke about trying to better today. Guess what she ran today. So let me just open my Apple Watch, okay? I tracked our run over here. I'm gonna show you. Okay, outdoor run. Okay, how the hell am I gonna do this? Okay, outdoor run, 27.57, all right? She absolutely obliterated her best 5K time, so. Yeah, that's uh, our cardio done for the day. Um, we're probably gonna get something to eat. I'm not sure if we're going out for supper or if we're gonna go make something. I'm not too sure yet. I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, that's the 5K done. Um, and I'll catch up with you guys Pop later. So we figured we're probably gonna go out to get something to eat. After the 5K, we're both like knackered and so tired. So I don't think cooking's gonna be the best idea. Um, luckily, they live right across the road from the Mojo Market. So those of you that have been to Seapoint, or have been in and around Seapoint area. I'm sure you know what the Mojo Market is. It's like a cool stores, like just food markets all around. Um, so that should be quite a vibe. Uh, we'll grab something to eat there. Um, again, I know this is a day and all the video concept is trying to show you guys what I eat and the macros. So it's gonna be quite difficult to estimate what it is that we're eating um, and the macro breakdown, but I will do my best. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head to the Mojo Market now so I'll keep you guys updated when we're there. Um, but yeah, check you guys later. Oh, 
and we're back home clearly i'm still getting used to this whole youtube thing because i didn't manage to film any of my stuff for last night so basically we ended up going to the mojo market which is across the road from cynthia and chris's apartment um it was really really nice we ended up getting both of us ended up getting uh burrito bowls uh, from this mexican place so good uh chicken or grilled chicken burrito bowls so it was quite nice we ended up having a few drinks as well so i just figured i'm not gonna vlog this right now i did get a small snippet of what the mojo market looked like so i'll try and put that in for you guys but yeah that's the whole video all right um i will try and put my macros up over here so this is pretty much my macros and what i'm kind of eating obviously like i said the burrito bowl we couldn't really get an accurate macro breakdown so it'll be a little bit estimated but yeah that's more or less what i'm eating in a day i hope you guys enjoyed the video um if you did please hit the like button and please hit the subscribe button while you're there uh, we've got a lot more content coming and i'm gonna try and be consistent with it as well because i'm really enjoying it and i really hope you guys are enjoying the content as well so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one